Later on tonight, former President Barack Obama, former First Lady Michelle Obama, also Second Gentleman Doug Emhoff will all be the main headliners at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. I am politics reporter Jack Fink is here. Uh, to say the least, we all had a little bit of a late night last night. Our news at 10 went on at 1130 almost. Uh, Democrats have noticed what happened last night. They've made adjustments to the schedule, right? Well, Doug, it will likely be another late night. Former President Obama is set to take the stage at 10 o'clock if the program is on time, but it may not be as late as last night when the speeches at the Democratic National Convention slid into late night as President Biden didn't finish speaking until well after midnight on the East Coast. To try to prevent that from happening and again tonight, the convention program is starting half an hour earlier at 530 instead of six o'clock. And while the main headliners include former President Barack Obama, the First Lady Michelle Obama, and Second Gentleman Doug Emhoff, there are other high-profile Democrats taking the stage, including Vermont Senator and former presidential candidate Bernie Sanders. Among the Texas Democrats at the convention is State Senator Royce West of Dallas. He told me that people are concerned about the economy and that he agrees with Vice President Kamala Harris's plan that promises to ban price gouging on groceries. Yes, not only on, on foods, but um, rights gouging on anything and everything. But we should want, regardless of whether you're a Democrat or Republican, to make certain we have laws in place that not only uh, make it illegal, but also we can, uh, that are enforceable. Some critics say that this is basically the government setting price controls and that it hasn't worked before. Well, you know, there, there'll be critics concerning everything. And I don't see it as, quote unquote, the government setting prices. That's uh, that's ludicrous. That won't happen in America. Former President Trump criticized the vice president's price gouging plan as, quote, full communist. Ms. Harris also supports tax increases on the wealthy, a $6,000 tax credit for parents of newborns, and a $25,000 subsidy for first-time homebuyers. Unlike last night, there will not be any Texans who will be addressing convention goers tonight. I'll be watching, watching and listening, and we'll have an update after 10 o'clock. <laughs> I was going to say, we're going to commit to 10. We'll see. No. It's, it's one of those floating nights. It's yeah. the way it is this week.